Hi everyone, Cycle Bora here, and in today's special video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to control an LED from your Android smartphone using Arduino Bluetooth. This video that you're about to watch next is actually from my C++ Better Explained Masterclass, where inside the Masterclass, you actually get the full project and all the source code combined and all the libraries required and the GUI design to, to control your LED from your Android smartphone. But in today's video, I'm still going to be breaking down the three main components of putting this project together, which is the hardware setup, the Arduino, the Arduino source code, and the Android source code. You'll be, getting, you'll be getting all the details of the hardware setup, the entire source code of the Arduino setup, and I'll be going through the Android app source code but I'm not going to be going through going through through the entire source code as, as there is a lot of code that, that that I would need to go through. But I'm going to be giving you guys the overall the overall hierarchy of the Android source code on how it's all put together and how it all works. And don't worry, guys, the source code all the source code for the Android app for the for the primarily for the Bluetooth libraries and all that is in the link below. So I have nothing to hide and everything is going, to, is going to be in the article down below. So let's get into the, into the breakdown of how to control an LED from your smartphone via Arduino Bluetooth. I hope you guys love this video and I hope you guys get a lot, a lot out of it. And before we get into it, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm as it really helps with, with the exposure of, of these videos. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you need to start out with to begin with Android development is that Android development uses the um, the Java programming language, which is um, similar to C++. So if you've been understanding the um, C++ Better Explained Masterclass well, then you'll have no problem picking up Java in only a few days. And then the, the best tutorial, the best resource that I found for clear Android development tutorials is tutorialspoint.com slash Plus Android, because um, Android is is cons consistently changing, and it's always being updated and everything. So it's hard to find plain English tutorials online, to be honest. So that resource that I've given there, tutorialspoint.com, I found that to be a pretty pretty good starting point for Android development if you're new to it. So if you want to get into Android development, I highly suggest that you check that out. Unfortunately, due to um, copyright regulations, I'm not able to provide my my um, my, my um, lecture notes of Android development that I undertook at university because of um, copyrights and all that. So unfortunately, I'm I'm, un I'm unable to do that. So if you want to get into um, Android development along with Arduino development as well, they're mixed together and use Bluetooth communication like for this project um, you'll, need the, you'll need the following uh, an Arduino Uno development board a Arduino HC05 Bluetooth module or HC06 Bluetooth module a, an Arduino Relay 5V Relay module uh, jumper cables to connect it together you'll need to install the um, Arduino IDE and as well as Android Studio. Now one thing that you need to understand with Android Studio is that um, even though it's been developed by Google it's very resource intensive so you will need um, at least 4 gigabytes of RAM and a good Intel i5 or i7 CPU to run Android Studio as it is very performance intensive. So, when it comes to setting up the Bluetooth code and the library, um, I need to note here that the tutorials which are currently online regarding the Bluetooth communication code for Android for Android apps, um, currently they're pretty much outdated, and this is because I was because this was, was a very painful experience as I spent three weeks trying to get the old Bluetooth code to work, and I was banging my head against the wall trying to get it working and I realized that the um, the old Bluetooth code just wasn't working in the end 
and luckily I eventually found a solution by using a dedicated Bluetooth library to work with, with the Arduino microcontroller which was the Bluetooth SPP library which is freely available on github.com and um, the source code that, that I have, will provide has that library already set up so the thing that we need to understand with um, Arduino code development is that Arduino as well is very similar to C++ and it also has a wide range of tutorials and documentation online to get started with because it is open source as well and that there are so there are luckily so many resources for um, Arduino that you'll have no problem getting getting your hands dirty with it and straight into it and the thing we can understand is that once we had de developed the, um, the Android app, app and the code was all working er and everything and all the bugs were cleared we could we could then start implementing the the Arduino code that would, would receive the Bluetooth commands from the Android app and control the relay in the project. So as you can see here, this this is the Arduino code that was used in, the, in our project to control the relay to send commands via Bluetooth. So as you can see, it's similar to C++ where we have the void functions and the um, if statements and all that, and the include include um, header as well. So this is a video here of the actual um, testing of the relay and all that. This is a test of the uh, Arduino code with with the, with the relay and the Bluetooth module. So the Bluetooth module is connected to the Arduino and the relay is connected, connected to the Arduino board. And this is the phone app right here, where we have the off and on. So if we turn it on, and there we go. So that was sending the Bluetooth um, commands from the phone to the relay, which is really nice. So I won't go through it all as there is a lot, but as you can see with the, the classes, like the public class and all that, it's very it's similar to C++. So what I've got here is that I've got the Bluetooth code, which is all being set up to, to set up the Bluetooth code and everything. So again, it's similar to, to um, C++ functions where we've got void, except in Java we have um, public void and the um, the Bluetooth connect code and all that. So there is a lot, there is a lot in the Bluetooth code, but the thing you need to understand with um, Android development is that you won't be most of the code you'll be writing, you won't be writing it from scratch. Most of the code you'll be getting from the internet because there's no point trying to reinvent the wheel because most of the Android code is available on the internet and all you have to do is just um, put the it's like it's like Lego putting it putting them putting the pieces together to to build what you want and that's exactly what Android Android development is you won't be writing anything from scratch that would be um preposterous So more of the blue, so the end of the, the Bluetooth code where we um where we were requesting it to connect to the device and all that, and um, the beauty about the um the Bluetooth library library that I've mentioned earlier is that it'll, it'll already obtain the MAC address of the um of the Bluetooth of the Arduino Bluetooth module, so you won't have to manually set it up, which is the beauty of the um of the of the um, Bluetooth library. And then the last thing I want to show you. Is the um, irrigation is the um, is the um, manual control. So this code is very similar to the um, to controlling the um, L LED light LED light that you'll be that you'll be looking at in the um, free tutorial that, that I've provided. So as we got here, we've got the buttons as buttons are connected to the um, to the XML. Which is over here, the relay switch. You know, so this, so this, so this um, GUI is connected back to the code, back to the code here, which is pretty handy. So 
so we, now we've got like the handling code again it's a lot of code but as I said earlier you won't be writing that from scratch you pretty, you'll be pretty much just putting it together with the, with the code from the internet and then the beauty here of the um, off and on button is that this is where you'll be sending the um, the Bluetooth commands. So when we want to send it send it on, we'll be sending one via Bluetooth, and when we want to send it, send it off, we'll be sending zero via Bluetooth. So it will be sending one, and it'll soon be sending zero via Bluetooth, and it'll be sending that command to the um, Arduino board, which is really handy. And then we have more of the um, setting up of the Bluetooth and everything, which is come to think of it, it's quite a lot but you won't be writing all that from scratch and the thing with that sets Java apart from C++ is that is that there's a lot of um logging now what logging is is that we use logging in Java to in we use it for debugging code to see like if they're if we're trying to like run something and it doesn't work but the, the beauty with logging is that um, logging sees that it it prints out what's happening and it allows us to, to pinpoint what's going wrong with our code and fix the issue. That's one notable, one notable, one noticeable thing with um, Java, the difference between Java and C++ development. Yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much all the code that I want to show you in the um, in this project because everything else is actually um, pretty pretty complex and I don't want to um I don't want to confuse confuse you guys with that so they're the two main things I want to show you from this project and I hope this gives you a uh, gives you an idea of um, of how to begin with um, Android development and all that I hope you guys enjoy my latest video as you know I'm always giving you something new but if you would like to further accelerate and simplify your learning of the C++ programming language, then what I want you guys to do is to click, click on the link below to sign up for my free video on, this, on the three steps to successfully learn and master the C++ programming language. And if you like what you see in the video, what I want you guys to do is to book a free 30 minute consultation call with me where you'll have a phone call with me directly to see how I can help you guys learn and master the C++ programming language. Even if you're a complete beginner or a complete novice, I'm more than happy to help complete beginners learn the language from scratch, which is, which is what I pride myself on doing.